everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Humble Ayla Dedulu. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, like, and also comment. In today's tutorial, I want to teach you how to cut and sew tatsu neck. Trust me, it's not hard at all. Without wasting much of our time, let's get started. The half length I'm working with is 14 plus 1 inch. See, allowance, the normal method, that's 15 inches. I want to cut out the length of my half length 15 inches Just I'm working with plus seam allowance is 10 inches. Then this is my zipper allowance. <laughs> the first thing to do is to measure the shoulder length divided by two. That's the normal method. The shoulder length I'm working with is seven inches. After getting your seven inches, you shape out your arm hole. I'm using eight and a half inches for this arm hole. Then you get your, this is the bust. The uh, waist I'm working with is nine inches. Then you connect them together. This is the bust. Then you shape out your arm hole. So this is the arm O. All right, guys, let's shape it out. The uh, width I'm working with is two and a half inches because when it comes to touch to neck, you have to let the weight go inside because it's having a total neck. I will use two and a half inches. It depends on the person you are sewing for. If your client is plus measurement, that's plus size, you have to use three inches, but the normal measurement is two and a half inches. Remember, the normal measurement is three for the width for the neck. But because it's half, it's stuck to neck, you have to reduce half inch so that it will come inside to be fair. Then the back will be one inch. That is the normal measurement. But if the person you are sewing for is plus uh, size, you have to use one and a half inches. That's for the back. Then for the front, instead of a normal measurement, five inches for the depth, we are using three inches, the normal uh, size. But if the person you are sewing for is your size, you have to increase the measurement. But if the person you are sewing for is not half to normal size, you have to reduce the size. Then you connect them together. You cut them separately because the measurement for the front is different from the back. This for the front while this for the back, uh, one inch. Then if you wish to shape your shoulder, you can go by one, you can go by quarter inch. Don't go beyond quarter. But if the person you are saying for is plus size, you can go by one inch inch or half inch all right guys this is the half length the next thing is to cut out the turtle neck measurements i'm using the neck i'm working with is 16 inches so and the depth of my turtle neck is 
two inches you can use one and a half inches depend on how wide you want your turtleneck to be okay guys i'm i will double my turtleneck so that means i will measure i want to use let me use two inches for the turtleneck and i want to double it that's four inches then plus seam allowance i will measure four and a half inches And when I fold it, I will get my two inches. Then this is 16 inches I'm working with plus seam allowance. I will cut out eight inches, one inch for the side and one inch for the other side. So this is my tattoo neck. After I fold it like this, I will get the measurement I need that. Then after that, the next thing is to go to your machine and join the shoulder. You have to join the shoulder because before you attach your tattoo neck. Find my shoulder like so. You can see it. I've joined my shoulder and I have, you will have something like this. Then after that, you measure it to make to be sure maybe you are still accurate with your measurement, the measurement you are working with. I told you earlier that the neck I'm working with is 16 inches. So after measuring the round neck all together, I'm having 18 inches remember that i left one one inch for my zipper allowance that means the two inches extra is for my zipper allowance one one inch and i've already cut out my 18 inches for the length of my tattoo neck the next thing is to attach it to your neck don't forget if you are using lining you will have turned the side side of your lining, but you will not turn the neck because you are still going to use tattoo neck length to turn it in. Okay. The next thing is to attach your tattoo neck. You paste the right on the right. Like so. You paste it wrong. Okay, guys. See the heart come of our tattoo neck. You can see. If you wish, you can hard stay. You can add at state so that it will stand. But if you are using quality and Kara high that high target, there is no need to put stay. But if you are using uh, materials like crab, chivon, you can use stay so that it will stand. You can see this and Kara even without using stain, it still stand. And if you cut out the neck and you you say that the measurement is not what you want you can as well reshape it but make sure that it's beyond your measurement all right guys you can see that's how to cut turtle neck if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to subscribe like and also comment see you in my next tutorial bye